So first test that we're going to perform is going to be a Rene's test. What is Rene's test? We are comparing air conduction with that of the bone conduction. So there are two things that we measure in the Rene's test. First is the loudness of the sound and the second one is the length of the sound heard by the patient. So the first thing that I'll demonstrate to you is going to be the loudness of the sound heard by the patient. So what I will do is I will instruct the patient that I am going to vibrate a tuning fork and keep it across the patient's pinna which measures the air conduction and I will also place the tuning fork on the mastoid which indicates to us the bone conduction. Now after doing this test I'll ask the patient to tell me which sound is heard louder. The first sound is heard louder or the second sound is heard louder. Okay. So let's begin and see how is the test performed. So we'll do this on the patient. We vibrate a tuning fork like this and I'll keep it across the pinna and I'll ask the patient if he's able to hear the sound. Kya aapko sunai de rahe? Yes, ma'am. Now I'll keep it across the mastoid and I'll ask the patient if he's able to hear the sound. Slow. Okay. Now I'll ask the patient to compare which sound was heard loudly. The first sound aapko zada sunai diya ya second sound? First ma'am. Yes. So what does it mean that when I kept the tuning fork across the pinna in the air, it was heard louder as compared to the bone conduction. So when AC is greater than BC, which means that air conduction is heard louder than the bone conduction, it means that the patient is normal or maybe having a sensory neural hearing loss. But if there was a situation where the patient would tell that the bone conduction is heard louder, than the air conduction, it means that the patient would have a conductive hearing loss. So this is the first way where we measure the loudness of the sound in Rene's test. There is second way where we measure the length of the sound. Here I will vibrate a tuning fork and I will keep it on the mastoid and I'll instruct the patient that when he stops to hear the sound, he will inform me by raising his hand and I will transfer the tuning fork from the patient's mastoid to the pinna. So let's perform this test. So I'll vibrate the tuning fork and I'll place it on the patient's mastoid. Jab aapko sunai dena band hoga, to haat uthaiyega. Yes, so now when he stopped to hear, I will transfer it across the pinna. Abhi kya aapko sunai de rahe? Yes. Okay. So what does it mean that the bone conduction stopped but the air conduction continued? Which means that air conduction is longer than your bone conduction. So when air conduction is longer and louder than your bone conduction, we say that Rene's test is positive. So this test is called as Rene's test.